I don't know about you, Billy, but I feel a little lighter on my feet, a little faster on my feet, like there's been some great burden, something that may have been built up over a long, long period of time that I've, I've just sort of totally let out. It's like I, I feel fresh, refreshed, you know? Yeah, I kind of get what you're talking about. Why is it? Why is it like that? It's like there was some great outpouring of emotion and mental energy in which we went completely insane. But now that we're not, we're feeling a lot better. I don't have any memory of the last episode at all. Neither do I. By choice. <laughs> right, we're the Bitter Sweet Gamers! Aren't we, Square? I'm the Opinionator! And this is May Sprite's Bingo Reward! We're going to talk about Hajime Hirata! Time for Hajime Appreciation! Woo! Coincidentally, he has the same birthday as my mom. Oh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, compared to the previous protagonist, I must say he is far more on the ball and on top of things and just seems to be more competent in general. I really, really respect that. Unlike Makoto, who I also like... I mean, I, I had, like, this ongoing battle with his with his competence and emotional competence level the entire time. And when Makoto was cool, he was he was cool. But there was just this level of... Huh? I mean, it kind of rep huh, represented that to me, but there was just this level of naivete. And as you may have noticed, when too much naivete sneaks in, I start shrieking, yelling, and raging about everything. It'd be one thing if nothing had started, if no one had killed anybody else, but once that starts, you can't be so naive. Yeah. Anyway, Hajime is not like that. Like Billy said, he's way, way more on the ball than Makoto was. He's way more suspicious of everything. He started the game in the prologue and maybe chapter one as being very suspicious. And then he then then at the point where he joined in at the at the beach party where he got a swimsuit and went out swimming with everyone, mm -hmm. that was when he let it all go. That was when he let that suspicion go. And it hasn't really come back to the same degree since. That's and true. I, and I thought that was really interesting because Hajime in the beginning and Hajime now isn't quite the same person. It's it's almost like he's playing a role. I, obviously, we're really suspicious of Hajime. Maybe that, that maybe that's not true. Maybe we don't need to be. Maybe we're wrong. That's fine. In this kind of game, you have to suspect the main character. It's it's the law. <laughs> suspect him of what? Well, I don't know. We're, we're not suspecting him of anything specific, just in general. The fact that we don't know what his ultimate talent is is really interesting because it lets us come up with all kinds of fun things. Oftentimes, not all the time, but oftentimes the main character of a visual novel is a very self-insert style character and it's kind of a blank slate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that I'm not trying to insult any character. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I mean. But for a blank slate character, rather, let me say, Hajime is definitely a blank slate, but he is an intentional blank slate. We don't know his ultimate talent. There was the weird way the game begun, mm -hmm. began with, like, stepping into some... Virtual weird, reality thingy. Weird portal. Um, there's the strange dream where it seems like he's the ultimate lucky student. Or was he in the class with Nagito? He was a Hope's Peak fanboy. Everything is different and, and uh, ambiguous. And here we are in chapter four of, what, six? Five? Maybe. I'm... And we still don't know. It's like he is a blank slate, but it's such an intentional blank slate. It's really fascinating. It's really intriguing. Even we haven't spent much time speculating about it. We too have just kind of accepted it. And gone with the flow like he has. I do like that he doesn't want to suspect his friends, but he'll still do it when a, when a murder happens. He's like, I don't want to do this, but we have to do this. We do not have a choice. Yeah, I agree. Like, he's not wishy-washy. Whereas Makoto was. I mean, he had those moments that were the same, but it's like... I really don't like wishy-washy, okay? Decisive! Action! Rawr! I really like his voice actor. I think he does a great job during the trials. I really appreciate his performance in the trials. He is a lot more on the ball. There's... I mean, that's really just more of... The trials in Danganronpa 2 are much better constructed than the trials in 1. I'm not criticizing anything. Right, I'm not right. saying what I'm not saying. 
But I am saying what I am saying. Did that make sense? It makes, makes sense to me. It made sense to me too. But I might be biased. Hajime doesn't have as much trouble comprehending the basic facts and expressing the basic facts. And he's actually been able to, to draw conclusions that we haven't gotten to yeah. sometimes. Maybe it's because the other characters in the trials in this game also perform better. And participate more. That it makes Hajime's own performance stand out more. Yeah. It looks more like leading it around rather than why are you all a bunch so so stupid? <laughs> Is there only are there only three people here who are ever paying attention? Right? So, in, so in this, instead of being one of the three people that pays attention, in this, it's like everybody is much more involved in the trial, so it looks like Hajime is leading everyone through everything. Because of the presentation. Yeah. Plus, his Ahoge can wiggle. If that's what you're interested in, man. Lastly, I'm really curious to see where he's going to go. We are expecting that it's going to be big. In fact, I'm expecting it's going to be something we had no idea was going to happen. I imagine that... There is going to be a... It's going to be deeply tied in with Nagito, mm -hmm. and it's going to be set up as an as, as like an obviously antagonistic and or rivalry style, but probably really antagonistic. And it is going to be something kind of crazy and out of left field. It's what we're expecting to have happen. Now, whether it happens or not that way, well, who knows? So does that mean if that does happen, we did predict it? Yes. <laughs> All right, now that we've wasted a lot of time with free time while we're about to starve to death instead of doing anything, let's... Starve to death without doing anything. It's about the only option remaining, isn't it? Dots. Y yes, sir. More dots. This is what you get. Maybe you should have been working on something instead of passing about bags of potato chips to Gundam. Maybe I should have been eating those potato chips. Maybe you could have checked out the final dead room. Eat the potato chips. Oh, don't do crazy talk. Oh. It's no use. Maybe you guys should have all gotten together and tried to figure out a strategy. I think I've reached my limit. Even if you couldn't come up with anything, isn't it better to try? Ignoring the voice in my head that was speaking reason. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Hungry. Hungry, 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 hungry. Uh, now I'm sad and hungry. If this keeps going. Just hold out, man. Just hold out. It won't keep going until you die. It comes in waves. You won't die until everything has begun to feel totally numb. You won't feel hungry at all. You're, you're still in the part where you're fine. That's why you feel so bad. Within about an hour or two, it'll pass. If this keeps going... Until I die. <gasps> what am I thinking? Good job. No. If I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously going to go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Yes, you do. Where is it? Where is the exit? Stop work at it. Clawing at the wall. <laughs> don't, don't work at it by clawing at the grapes on the wall. Damn it. Where the fuck is the exit? Yes, do it. Go. Try something. The final dead room that you fellows have heretofore ignored is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. That's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Motokuma's lies. You should have all gotten together, just like you did with the tower. You should have all gotten together and been like Nekomaru. You are invincible. <laughs> Just saw you eat a bazooka to the chest and not care. We're all going to be out here. You go in there and robot your way through. Go in there and tell us what happens. You're not going to be hurt and we'll all be here to witness it. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right. That's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even 
run decently. I realize I've sort of been mocking everybody in this situation, but... I can't run. That is excellent. I can't run decently. That's a nice touch. This is a really miserable situation. Because I just happen to know so much about this topic and it's been of such an such importance to me over the past few months, I, I can't help myself from just blathering on about it, but these guys aren't me. <laughs> that, that, that is correct, sir. They don't have the knowledge that I do, and even if they did, the fact of the matter is, you're still gonna starve to death. Right, right. No and matter how much you know about the mechanics of starvation and how it's kind of half of it isn't really the way people think it is. And that doesn't also help that the fact that hunger is going to be really bad starting out. Oh yeah, it's terrible. In fact, I'm trying to avoid going into the specifics and I'm really having to stop myself. <laughs> Once again, we have Akane next to Sakura. <sighs> Good lord! Damn it. I lost again. I just can't unleash my power when I'm this hungry. Why can't I beat this statue? Ah! Akane! Meaningless. Huh. What a pity. I still haven't gotten serious yet. Oh, I see. You know, I'm a robot now, right? That makes me a lot stronger and tougher, and I'm not actually getting hungry or anything. I mean... However... Regardless, if I ever decide to get serious with this body, you won't even last a second. Huh. Not yet. Why'd he say it that way? It's true, of course, but that's not the way he acted before. He, before Nekomaru was really, not self-deprecating, well, he kind of self-deprecating. He was, he, he was a little more humble when it came to this topic. Yeah, because that's what a team manager does is you prop up the person you're, right. you're training. I mean, I mean he, of course, there was no way Akane could beat him, but he wasn't saying it like that. Right, right. But now, since he's become a robot, he is... Doing the braggy thing. It's just like there's something about the old Nekomaru that has, isn't back. I suppose it could be he's saying it like that so that she'll stop trying and wasting energy. Because this isn't helping her! Yeah, right. Let's train one more time. It's the only thing that keeps me from going crazy. I can't believe they're going at it right now. Is it okay for them to burn their energy like this? Hold on! You better not exert yourself too much. You haven't eaten in a while after all. Damn it. Don't remind me. I was finally able to forget about food. Would you like to drink the cola that seeps from my eyes? Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> well, you're really lucky since you can still live even if you don't eat. <clears throat> well, he still has his charge. Hey. He's got a portable charger, though. He left it. Oh, good point. He doesn't have it. Yeah. He's in the same danger as everybody else. That's true. Anyway, since you have that body now, does that mean you can do it with electricity? And that's when I left the conversation. Do it to me with electricity. Won't it feel so much more amazing with electricity than with your bare hands? Uh, I was using electricity before, too. <laughs> I guess I have no choice! Oh... What I've done with you, your body won't be able to live without it. That may be completely true in every literal sense. Pervert senses tingling. I feel like an innuendo went by that I couldn't comment on. I don't even have the energy or willpower to say anything anymore. <laughs> you can still dash, huh? Just Not very efficiently. Just a slow dash. I really, even the basic walking speed is a lot slower yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate that touch. It's, it's a really nice touch. Hello, terrifying door. I'm going to open you now. Please don't eat me. You guys should have done this first with everybody there. That way, if you if it turned out to be something you needed to, like, no, we can't touch this, then you all would have known and you all could have left. They were too caught up in the situation, I suppose. To, to spend three days doing nothing? I, okay, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. For now. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's... That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. Oh, Haji, man. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out! 
With this, I can finally get out! Hold it! You can't do that. Cause it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You you won't find what you're looking for. Th that's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. Hajime, you've got to get a hold of yourself. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? <sighs> do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay? Mm. Chiaki and I went back to Grape House together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make, which is, of course, the point. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Jeez, the madness of the last episode. It seems to be seeping over to Dodgy Bay. Well, it bizarrely fit in. Just all the meaningless insanity, and, and even us kind of becoming brain mush due to the archives, and every character going... Ah! I had to read everything you guys read too, you know. <laughs> oh, no. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it? Or... <sighs> but you can't just keep splitting apart like this and... I mean... Nothing is going to get accomplished like that! Er well, everyone, this, this way, everyone isn't going to do anything. What, is Chiaki just going to run around doing, like, the final dead room patrol? Well, I mean... Life-threatening game? She is the ultimate gamer. Maybe we should be sending her into play. <laughs> but what's she going to do with the weapon? If that's what they think if that's what they think it's going to be, it's just it is the only thing we have. It's the only way to go forward. That's what I'm saying. Just send in Nekomaru, and if it's just a weapon, then it's a weapon, and everybody will know what it is. This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry. And I said what I said in front of everyone. But I... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. If there is no exit, if that's the case, which, I mean, I still wish everybody really would have tried. I mean, we sure tried to... We sure cared a lot about making sure that the Strawberry Tower and the Grape Tower were the same room. Yeah, that's got to be relevant somehow! But we sure cared a lot about that, but we sure ignored everything else. We sure cared a lot about working out who was sleeping in what room. We didn't care about anything else. If it's true that there's no exit, then, <sighs> then the why e don't we work on that together? On why don't we work with on Nagito? Why don't we do what I'd said, the suicide idea? Isn't that exactly what he's here for? At least that is a way that everybody can get out that seems to satisfy everybody the most that people can be satisfied in this situation. Yeah, I mean, is this ideal? Well, no. No, not in any way is this ideal. Maybe we would have been able to come up with something if we would have looked instead of talk about hamsters. <laughs> or cults. We could have we could have looked while talking about hamsters or cults. Ah, oh, okay. I'm... I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I once again began to feel faint and lost consciousness. It's just, if somebody has to die, then isn't it better for it to be, for it to be Nagito? The person who kind of wants to? Yeah, the person who wants to die to, to be the stepping stone for the ultimates, then he dies and no one else has to suffer. Otherwise, we're just waiting passively for a murder to occur, in which case two people have died. Isn't it better for one to die than two, especially when there's one person who's willing to die for others? And, well, not even just that. If a murder happens, then potentially more could die. Yeah, and if, the if murderer we don't get gets it wrong, away, Yeah, and if we don't get it wrong, everybody dies. So it's worse than that. That's the only reason I keep harping on it being Nagito. Otherwise, it's just passively ignoring the situation and waiting. Kablam? Hmm? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? 
Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Yeah, it's not going to be an earthquake here. Maybe I'm just confused. And as soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence towards everything began to overpower my body. Oh yeah? Ambivalence, huh? And, once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Well, are we finally going to find out what's going on with Hajime? Emergency! Emergency! And thinking about it, haven't... What about the last time we saw Monomi a few days ago? Yeah, like the way she ended was... She left was kind of really suspect. Yeah, they forgot about me. Hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee-hee! And then she left. Maybe, maybe the connection is between Hajime and Monomi. I'm so sorry, Hajime. I've been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. Relatable! That's why they exist, after all. <laughs> <laughs> there, I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny, expensive car at 3.30 in the morning, completely flarking drunk. <laughs> There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride. Because he doesn't have a stable job or money. So why does he have any pride? But he wants it to show off so much that he's forcing himself to do that and hitting on the night clerk at the store. She's really getting irritated. <laughs> From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job, which is actually pretty decent when you think about it. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. But he's working two separate jobs. He should have plenty of money if he's still living with his parents. No, no, I think the point is, is that he's spending it all on the clothes and the car to put on an appearance of opulence. Why, Billy? You understand me so well. <laughs> have I finally been getting through to you, too? <laughs> As that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, <laughs> then I started to feel bad. Shocking. Because I was describing myself. Freaking punk! <laughs> because I was describing myself. Now let's go back to Hajime after the situation where Hajime has collapsed. Do you, do you see what I am saying? Why was it placed where it was? Because of how Hajime's reacting. Meaning? That it was about him? That it's about Hajime. That's about Hajime, yeah. Billy, Hajime thinks he's one thing, but he's actually something completely different. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also... It's really cold. So, in the last episode, we went completely mad, which feeds into the game's narrative. <laughs> May Sprite's bingo request was what? A Hajime appreciation pose. I'm just saying, there have been quite a lot of coincidences between how the FTEs have played together <laughs> and the precise timing of events. Isn't that fascinating? I promise we don't play it like this. We can't. This is a blind let's play. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. I mean, haven't we been talking about the three laws of robotics? Hasn't a robot been kind of important? We've just, we've only halfway been joking about the Hajime as a robot thing, but... It's possible. <sighs> but... I need to go to Great Tower. Why? Because of those calisthenics. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge.
Now, at this point, we're talking about an electrolyte deficiency. Oh, crap. It's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. See, if you don't have enough salt, you begin to get really fatigued. You have a splitting headache that builds over time. Like right behind your eyes. Right behind your eyes. And it's hard to think straight. And your mood is affected. And that's if you have a salt deficiency when you have been eating. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have potassium, if you don't have enough potassium... Then little by little, because they're called electrolytes, right? Why are they called electrolytes? They help conduct electricity in your body. Yes, they're, they're charged ions that help co conduct the electrical signals. I'm no expert on this, and I can't describe it precisely mechanically, but potassium specifically, as your potassium begins to get lower and lower and lower, you eventually will be paralyzed. You will not be able to move your arms and legs. It's like a night terror. It's called hypokalemia. So that's just quite, quite realistic. See? My knowledge of this stuff doesn't just mean I'm taking a dump on everybody and saying starving isn't so bad. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And the cold and the ambivalence is the part of starvation that I was talking about before. The part where you just let everything go and lay around because you just don't have anything you can do anymore. It's just your body is trying to stay alive for as long as it can and conserve all the energy you can. And then, and then in the event that you see food while you're in this starvation mode, this is where your body is consuming its own muscle because it's already burned through the body fat you have or you wouldn't be in this situation. Then, when you see food, it just acts automatically, as in, must obtain that food, and you'd have to fight your instincts. This is when you get people who, who like, get into, like, fist fights over, like, a moldy crust of bread. I see. Terrible. Yeah, it is. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Before I reach out of the screen and murder the opinionator. Oh, it's already happened. Why haven't you? Why am I struggling against you, you weak little star? <laughs> Shut up! Hey, Shut up! Oh, Hajime. Good morning. How are you so chipper? Sonia, you seem energetic. <laughs> Are you mocking me? <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime. When did your face become Mont Blanc all of a sudden? <sighs> mm. She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Come here, Hajime. <sighs> Um, just a quarter is fine, so may I take a bite out of you? <laughs> oh, is this drool? Come here, let me take my mouth closer to your face. I am very conflicted right now. Ah, Jime. You'd get a stomach ache, that's creepy. <laughs> also, human flesh isn't very nutritious. Oh, you no, start it's... start to develop a tick. No, you'd be all right. Wow. For a while. You just, have, you just might get unlucky. That's really all it is. Shut up. I'm trying to talk Sonia out of eating me. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, my. Now there's an adorable shortcake. I think that's a cute nickname for Chiaki. Shortcake? But the problem... A cute shortcake. A, the problem with cute shortcake is this is not the right time to start ascribing cute nicknames to people. Especially ones that are made of food. And not a shortcake. And Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Great Tower? Yep. It's almost time. How do you people have so much energy? Or am I just a big wuss? It may be that. Come on, if you're too slow, we'll be late. You'll be fine, it's okay. Yeah, you're right. Wow! Oh my, Hajime. 
Upon closer inspection, your face looks like a sachet tort or whatever the heck that is. I have no idea what you're talking about. I may about. not know how to pronounce the name of this fancy European pastry that Damon's never heard of, but I'm sure it's amazing. Might I trouble you for a bite near the center, please? You mean my nose? I shall repay the favor later. You want me to you want to eat my nose so I can eat your nose later. Sonia, get a grip on yourself. Or go talk to Kazuichi. <laughs> you can do whatever you want to be, Miss Sonia. No, I don't think he'd let that happen, though. See? Come on, we don't really have time to relax. If we don't hurry, we're going to be late. And if we try to relax too much, we'll end up like that. And that's just crazy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Must flee. Zombie princess. Then... I'll press the button. I wonder if Sonia is just licking the wall. When I pressed the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. Oh. It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. Did somebody attempt to murder ha- Oh. He didn't attempt to murder Hajime. It's already happened. The door to despair. Always open suddenly. Wow! Mm, uh. Well, I mean, we were right about it being Nekomaru, which we saw coming the whole time, but he has been dismembered like the Tin Man. Yeah. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. So, also, there's the... The blue blood. Because he's a robot, yeah. I guess maybe it's oil or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, his head has been heavily dented with a hammer, but he's just had the crap beat out of him. He's been dismantled. And he was tied up. We can't be that sad because, I mean, we are sad, but we've been calling it for how long? How long? We've been calling it for quite some time. It, it's not Sonia. She's not clear-headed enough. That's it's probably Kazuichi. It's not Chiaki because it's Chiaki it, because she's Chiaki. And my God, if this were to happen, it would be at the end of the game, not here. Yeah, yeah. It's not suicide because that can't be suicide. That can't be suicide. I agree with you. I'm thinking Kazuichi is the is the is the most suspicious one. But who else do we have? Gundam, Akane, Fuyuhiko, or Hajime. Which. It's probably not Hajime. It's probably not, or the game would be over at chapter four. Probably. <laughs> right? I think. It's Akane. Ha! I gotcha! It's not Akane! I'm suspecting Akane, but Kazuichi. Well, you know, you gotta stick to your guns. Yeah, but Kazuichi. What the heck did they do? It could only be... I mean, with a title like that! I know! Ultimate Robots? Ultimate robots do ultimate robots dream. Who's been dreaming? Who keeps talking about dreams? Hajime! In the very beginning, he talked about dreams. Ultimate what? Ultimate robot? Why not? What? This is why we keep suspecting that. Maybe we're wrong, but this is why we keep suspecting that. And that's why we have to suspect Hajime, too. Yeah, you're right. Because if he is a robot, then he could be doing stuff that, without any of our awareness, even his. A body has been discovered! Kazuichi has the capability to do it. Akane couldn't. I still think she did, but... Um, even after that whole it thing, she can't live without it, David. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's just I want to keep accusing her, but I see, the thing is, I see this... Uh, nobody else who has been murdered has been dismembered, okay? <sighs> what I'm getting at, and we know that Nekomaru is strong. We do. Why did he need to be dismembered? That it just it seems like it would have to be Kazuichi just because he wouldn't be as intimidated. Oh, Nagito. We never thought about Nagito, but it's not him. Either. It can't be uh, just because. Well, maybe he sought to salvage some parts to build a boat with. He does have I, a I motor. Mean, I mean, maybe, but it's just like Akane wouldn't do something like that. Like maybe okay. So the hammer doesn't seem like it would be her style. But even if it were, the hammer's not what killed him. He was off. Yeah. The good night switch. Yeah, he was off from the good night switch, and then we, he'd said that if he was dismembered, that he'd die. That he would die. 
And it seems like the only person who would dismember a robot would be the guy... The who... ultimate mechanic. Yeah. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. I do wish this were more of a surprise to us, though. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? Yeah, okay, even even all of that aside, for God's sake, he's been dismembered! They never did that before! What the- When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why? Why is this happening? It... It's... So strange. He finally... He finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare. Please just let me wake up. There it up. is again. The reference to dreaming. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. N Nekomoto? No. This is a lie, right? This is just... Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing. Okay. Taking a look at the entire scene. Looks like the pillar fell on him. Oh, no. My head naturally got a rope tied yet. around his leg. He was dropped onto the pillar. Ah, it's true that we don't know that we can't see the ceiling. Well, what do you mean dropped onto the pillar? I see that the pillar has fallen and split. We also see that there's all that blood over there. What does uh -huh. he bleed from? I don't really know. He he, it, it couldn't. There's no way that the, the position would work like this if the pillar fell on him. Right. So, how the heck did somebody get up there? That's a better question. But that right. seems to be what it is. You're right. That has to be the case. I mean, you see the. That's why the foot fell off. And that's why there's such a big dent in his head. Yeah. I think the hammer's a false head. Yeah, because there's no way... He, he got shot with a freaking bazooka. He's not yeah. going to take that type of a dent from being hit with a hammer. But that's I, clean. That also, the hammer is clean. And it's like the loop on the rope. So like uh -huh. Now getting a good chance to look at it. The loop on the rope is off. That's why the foot is off. Because it was around his rope. Or it wasn't... Yeah, it, it has to be that. The, and they locked the door from the other side of the strawberry hall. Right. So nobody could come in. Because here. when we hit the button, it immediately opened. I mean, those splits, those splits on the pillar just look like naturally where where it could conceivably split. I don't think there's anything funny about that. Yeah, yeah. And that could also explain why he was dismembered from the impact of slamming into yeah, it. Yeah, that would work. That would cause the dent. That's why there's the blood. You see the blood on his head uh -huh. and the, and and the, the pillar. pillar. And that type of a gravity, and surely he weighs a whole lot, right? Oh, yeah, That's why yeah. there's not all that much blood, relatively speaking, anywhere else except around his foot. But, like, the... Where it came off. How the heck did he... Did they, yeah, so mainly what we need to do is figure out where they got to and how. Is there some way you can get so high up? It's true we couldn't see the ceiling. We know it's the same room, so it's not on a different floor there. So there must be some way... It, that it, it, we need to figure out what's up with the final dead room. The, yeah, the place where you get to that's... is... Is the octagon where you find the weapon? Well, okay, so like the grape tower is a hexagon, right? Uh -huh. And and uh, strawberry, strawberry tower is a, square. is a rectangle. Rectangle, yeah. Technically, a square is a rectangle. But fair a rectangle, point. A rectangle is not a square. Fair point. Fair or point. Or am I backwards? Am I, I backwards know. on that? I, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. geometry. So we have four sides, six sides. So the next thing is the eight sides, the octagon, right? We yeah. Because we went like quadragon, hexagon, octagon. Okay? Yeah. So that's some other set. Maybe maybe the octagon is just like another thing that's up there. And so he, maybe the weapon is the drop? Well, I had a wild idea a while ago, but didn't want to say anything because I didn't have enough evidence to really support it. And it felt like I was just pulling something out of my butt. Well, you should have said it because in case you were right. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's just not going to sound convincing now. Yeah, that's why I say that. Well, I might as well say it now anyway. What if this is an elevator? What if they're not at the same level? What if the elevator that oh, moves yeah, between okay. buildings that you can't feel moving? Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's, it's like, what if everything else is moving? Or what if the elevator is going... What if Strawberry House is actually up above us? And what, and, and rather than the... Right, right, right. 
because what we found was was when you when you hit the button to open the door, there's a good chunk. Yes, and, and some, then a wait. And, some, and a wait. If, since, at the time, I know I'm sputtering here. At the time, we said, if we know these details, this must not be wrong, or we wouldn't get these details right now. And this has to be relevant to the murder. So, that would also be consistent because that's what the weight and the chunk is. The experiment that we did would have turned out the way it did with Chiaki's e-handbook on yes. the ground. Yes. So, so that would make sense by somebody using the lock. Now, where did they get the lock from? That's a good question. Because you could. You where did they get the hammer from? You could figure it out if you messed around for a while about the about the door. I mean, yeah. And that would provide a place for which you could. You could drop somebody. Also, they got Nekomaru and managed to, to hit the button. Now, we all had discussed it, though, so everybody knew about it. Mm-hmm. Well, and again, you know, a certain ultimate mechanic is familiar with machines. That's true. That's true. And Okay, I think we've gotten quite a lot from our first glance at the crime scene. <laughs> I might be wrong, or there might be something else. But in any case, moving on. Surely the hammer didn't come from the octagon. That might be the ultimate weapon. Remember, this is Monokuma. He said there were boat parts here. Killing. I can't deny this truth, but... Why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey! Hey, what happened? A Akane! Move! Move! Move it! Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru? Why did he have to die again? Poor Kane. Damn it. He never paid you back. Just like Chapter 4 of Dongan Rompa 1. <sighs> yeah. I never paid you back. For your help last time. I'm an idiot. It's a suicide. Nekomaru figured it out and Nekomaru did it. That's it. That's it. But then, why the hammer? Hmm. Maybe, maybe the parallel is go well, the parallel is obvious. The Look parallel at this. is very Look obvious. At this thing right here. The seed. The person, <laughs> the person who is like Aoi, who even looks like her a bit. The person who is like Sakura in the same role. They have that a similar relationship. I know. And the same type of scene is happening. I know. The parallel is real. Now, what it means, I don't know, but the parallel at least is real. So perhaps you it can't was, deny it. Perhaps it was that we would think that maybe it's a suicide, and and the, and like the trick is that it's not. Yeah. But you know, what if he did? What if he did write a note and and then it got hidden, which is what happened last time. Yeah. Also, last time, how many people said they did it? It was like an army of everyone saying that they killed Sakura. <laughs> they thought they killed, yeah, Sakura. And then, and then Aoi just kept pushing it to try and punish everyone. I don't think Akane's going to do that, though. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Damn it! How cruel. This... This is just too much. Why... Why did Nekomaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this is always the result. Is this something I can't stop? There's only so much you can do in regards to what people choose to do with their lives. That's true, yeah. Damn it. Hey, Nekomaru got killed, right? That announcement means what I think it means, right? I won't forgive you. Hey, who did it? Who killed Nekomaru? Hiya. Looks like someone is finally pumped up! You. Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekomaru? What? What do you Don't want? get mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went to a lot of trouble to bring Nekomaru back from the dead. And he already let the killer break him. <laughs> How disappointingly foolish. 
Maybe he had a few screws loose. <laughs> you know, cause he's a robot! You talking about Nekomaru? Akane, calm down! Phew! Use those powers that your anger has awoken for the investigation. Also, don't attack me again. Um... He shot a bazooka with almost no provocation the second time. Just to show off how indestructible Nekomaru was. But this is like the third time that she's attacked him, quote-unquote. Yeah. Hm. Acted threatening towards his him. His response has gotten lesser each time. He's proved his point. Um, Monokuma, is there any way you can fix Nekomaru? Hmm. hmm. Well, I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, it's impossible. Plus, the last time it happened, it was my fault. But this time, the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I'm under no obligation to fix him for you. <sighs> I guess it was a waste of time to ask him. It always is. In other words... A life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for you. So... So, even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with the usual routine. It's the Monokuma file! Also, this is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk! Well, at least there's that! <laughs> I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, <laughs> if I don't feed you, you guys probably won't last long enough for a class trial. <laughs> I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekomaru. Huh. You know, I was wondering who was going to do autopsies now that Mikan is gone. But I guess Kazuichi can. This time, yeah. I won't forgive you. And after I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat first. If I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. <sighs> you're right. If we're gonna avenge Makamaru, we gotta regain as much energy as we can. Damn it. Damn it. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. Come on, Hajime. You too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it! I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! Eat it slowly. It'd be bad if you got a stomachache, and Damon can tell you what happens when you refeed after a fast, and it's not really good for talking about in polite conversation. <laughs> We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? Looks like you've gotten your energy back. Then let's hurry up and start already! I'm gonna do it! The killer and you. I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands! However... Um... Regardless of whether we start or not, what has happened to the others? They appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. They can't get here. Because... Well, they could have taken the, inter the, the elevator around. Maybe they couldn't have. I did. Oh, no, 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 Hajime wait. is that in yesterday. Grape yeah. Tower. Because he's with the girls. The girls are all that's here. And on top of that... Like, as soon as Sonya and Chiaki walked in, it was the body discovery announcement. So, I mean, it wasn't them, but... Well, they can't come in through the door. It does have to be one of the guys, right? Kind of, yeah, it would kind of have to be. I mean, under this precise circumstance, I can't continue my routine of, of accuse Akane. <laughs> I know, it's such a, such a disappointment for you. It really is. That's weird. They should have come to Grape Tower because we had Monokuma Tai Chi. That's also true. How unacceptable! Well, something happens and you can't punish them. I never expected all of you to ditch Monokuma Tai Chi. Honestly, it was way beyond my expectations. What I thought at least do? Akane and Nekomaru would come. Oh, <laughs> well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. 
kill you! Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> now, do your best to investigate. I wonder what happens if someone changes the time on the clock. In this circumstance, where there's no external way to verify the time, maybe that would happen. I'll see you again at the class trial! Oh, did I give you a hint again? It's g the clock. Nekomaru's clock is going to have broken when he died. And we're going to need to use that to just, deduce. Just like you said when he talked about the clock. Because that's the only reason you talk about the clock. I Chekhov's clock! I was about to say something just like that. This chapter, forget do ultimate robots dream of... Clockwork. Clockwork, that was it? Yeah. Okay. Isn't it more like Chekhov's chapter? <laughs> Everything that happened has, has just been like, this is a Chekhov's this. Pay attention to this. Pay attention to this. Now pay attention to this. So what we did was we paid attention to everything and... Here we are. Huh? I hear... I hear something. Um... Huh? What do you hear? Huh? <gasps> Could it be Nekomaru? Damn it. Of course not. He's... He's already dead. Yo. Oh, well. Now's not the time to worry about that sound. I disagree! It's the clock, right? Oh. Well, then that would mean that it didn't break. Okay, well, no, that, that's a good point. It's just there could be the TikTok. He's not... He's not installed with a bomb, or maybe it's people ran... Like, feverishly hitting the button. Like, what the heck is going on? That could be it. That could be it. That sound... What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. But then again, I don't have superhuman senses like you do. Um. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we have not summoned them here? Well, just because they got the announcement doesn't mean they know where the body is. They could be frantically running around Strawberry House looking. <laughs> They're going to come here soon anyway. Now's not the time to worry about them. You're right. We should have heard the body discovery announcement already. And Akane's... I mean, yeah. it, it sounds... It sounds... Silly, I guess. Trite to say Akane is fired up, but she normally is just like, yeah, whatever. I'll let. I don't really know about stuff like that. I'll let somebody else deal with that, and she just forgets about everything. But not this time. But not this time. This time she's even like, I'm gonna investigate. So I guess in the trial we're mainly gonna be going up against her, which is a lot of what happened in the fourth trial of the last game. Look, man, parallels. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Then we should start the investigation soon. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it! I mean, what did he ever do to anybody else? First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. I wonder what information we're gonna get for this. Right? The victim is Nekomaru Nidai, a.k.a. Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the Funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Fair enough. The way that they put that. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. They just told you! They just told you! Mm. I mean... Yeah. After two Dongon Rompas, who's going to see that hammer and think that that's what it was after looking at the whole scene, right? Especially when you see where the blood was. Right! Aside from that, several other areas of this body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. So there is that dent on his chest. And in the collarbone mm -hmm. area. Yeah. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. I wonder how... I wonder what the details of all of that are it, it might he might have been clubbed with the thing because i can't see a way that he could have fallen banged his head enough to kill it he may have been clubbed a couple times just so people would think it's the it's but the that shouldn't do any damage he was able to eat like a monokuma buster bazooka shot right in the chest and just get dirty you're right so how's that damage i just can't figure out how he could have gotten damage on his chest due to 
due to that fall. Now, the collarbone, uh, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, if the fall was severe enough, if he landed on his head, the shockwave would travel up through his body, and Dude, his chest is, what? Did you see the damage on his chest on the picture? I, I mean, you It know, looks like it just took a hit. I mean, you know, he could have, well, when he hit the pillar, he could have fallen, and, uh, did, you no, know. No, there's no way the fall, at least assuming the, with the interpretation that we are currently taking. Does that mean... Nekomaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon, like this giant mallet here. But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? I mean, for one, that would be really loud and draw a lot of attention. You see it on the truth bullet, the, the, the image on the damage on his chest? I see that, I like, see that. That couldn't have been impact traveling up. Yeah. And it's like... If he would have bounced on his head and then whacked into the pillar, that's not going to cause that. But how are you going to do that damage with a hammer? Also, that's... Well, being that's, the ultimate mechanic, I don't know. Well, it doesn't give you a plus 50% bonus using blunt weapons against robots. Well, it depends on the, on the system you're using. Now, that is, however, how the clock broke. That, yeah. So that's why that matters. Maybe... No? The how probably doesn't really matter. Well, I'm just saying, he took a hit with the bazooka. And and now you're expecting me to believe that the hammer did that type of damage? Well, I mean, Not fatal, just yeah. enough to dent it? I see, I see. Um, in this case's Monokuma file, there's no written time of death, right? Do you suppose that's maybe important? <laughs> just like that whole part about us all ditching Monokuma Tai Chi and Nekomaru having a clock that's always accurate? Just maybe. Did I say something that was maybe a little far ahead? I'm so sorry. Didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hyoko died too? Oh, did it? <laughs> at, at this point, you know, one way to look at it is that the player, this is like their ninth or tenth case or something like that. From the player's perspective. Yeah, that's what I mean. And so we, the player should be should have noticed by now that every time the Monokuma file does not provide information because it was never ever claimed a single time in any game that it was an autopsy. Right. It's, if, if a piece of information was not provided, that is our hint to understanding what the important information is. And that's, that's what it was with the Hyoko yeah, and Ibuki and, one. And that's, that's how Monokuma quote-unquote cooperates with the killer by cooperating with the people trying to find the blackened by telling them what's important. Now, whether yeah. you catch it or not, but the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because the time of death was key to the mystery Thanks, guys. surrounding their Good murder. freaking job, Hajime! Good <laughs> job, Hajime! <laughs> yes! Thank you so much! Oh. We started the episode by appreciating Hajime, and we end the episode with Hajime's crowning glory of noticing this dang thing! Instead of being like, hey, what, what? No, friends don't kill each other. I won't suspect anybody, huh, 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 huh? Thank you, Ajime. I feel better. Could that be the case this time, too? Are you glowing, Hajime? Um. By the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Um. Ultimately... Is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building, question mark? Is it? Is it? Because that means this is a question. That's why I'm asking it to you. So it must be relevant. Yes, person who I somehow suspect might be the traitor? Well, that's the only thing we could think of. Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Grape Tower. It still showed up in Strawberry Tower. Which means... The reason each tower's wall is different colors is because the floor lighting is changing the colors. The reason Usami's floor portrait is different in each tower is because it is merely a projection. Yeah, that should be the case. Until we find out it isn't. Then... Then it is decided. The two towers are the same building. The Which... same building? Yeah! This is, Sonia is, of course, being extremely helpful right here. Well, the thing is, even if I'm right and this is some kind of elevator, that's still a correct statement. Yeah, yeah. That, I agree, yes. That's what I said. Which means the scene of the crime is, and this part is really important, 
simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. I wouldn't bring this up right here if it <laughs> weren't important! Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building. And simultaneously the same scene. If that doesn't get you to be thinking about it as two places that are the same place in a way that's different than the way you thought about it before, I don't know what is. How does that pertain to Nekomaru's murder? Oh, Hajime, you should never talk like that again. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? What's this? It, it, it's me. I'm Hajime. Did you find something? Well? Um, under Nekomaru's body... No, wait. There are small rock-like fragments underneath Nekomaru's body. P probably from the pillar, I'd wager. You didn't need to correct yourself like that. And what do you mean, rock-like fragments? I'm sorry, I just think the name Mekamaru is cute, okay? So does Monokuma, and that's why I must despise it. I, I don't have a good retort to that. I can't ever agree with Monokuma. Here, look. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mekamaru's body. <laughs> or maybe he fell on top of them. Well? But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath Mekamaru's body... There are hardly any on top of his body at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, what conclusions might we draw from this? What's strange about that? Is there a problem that they're not on top of his body? <sighs> yep. If you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. You're gonna bring it up in the trial, ain't you? Is there, is there something that we're missing out of this? That means the pillar didn't fall on him. That's obvious by looking at the blood. I mean, that was the first thing I thought, too, but then we get a look at the whole scene for more right. than I, one I second. Right, I just think that that's what that is. Probably. Well, if you put it like that, I can't help but think they're important. Yeah, we're probably going to have to deal with the pillar not falling on him, but... I mean, because the way it broke, it looks like it could have broken on his head. Sure, but there's all, all that blood spot... On I'm aware, but it has happened before! Did you find anything? Hmm. Hmm. Even though I'm all fired up, and even though I really want to do my best to investigate with everything I got, I'm not really all that smart, so I'm not really that good at this, and I don't know how. Looks like you haven't found anything yet. It's okay, Akane. But I'm gonna try! And that is what's important. Leave it to me. We need clues, right? I'll learn something, so just wait for it. Remember? Uh, uh, remember when I said the difference between remember and learn, which can be the same word in Japanese? Why don't you tell me about that noise you heard and then immediately wrote off? Oh, please do. Please, please, please. Let's talk about that a great deal. That's probably what she's going to remember. Oh, see, that's a good one. There's a, there's a, that, that way you use both meanings of the yeah. word, which is how words in a language work. I'm smirt. <laughs> uh, Looks like that's going to be a little hard. Uh, oh, I remember. See, I said I remember. Damn it, Damon. You want to fight about this? There is something I thought was weird. Um, it happened early in the morning. You're going back that far? I remembered! Come on, you noticed it too, right? You hear that rumbling sound? Is that the noise you were talking about? No, she was speaking like she was hearing it in real time. Yes, but she's still going to mention something she thought was weird about this to make sure that we remember it because we had forgotten about it. Rumbling? I guess that was hitting the button to make the thing lower. That's what I was thinking too, yeah. Ah, that was kablam. Or, okay, that, that was probably Nekomaru falling. What was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. I guess I'm just thinking too much because I'm dying of hunger. Well, not right now. Um. I was sleeping pretty heavy so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was. That noise woke me up. It was loud. I ran out of my room without thinking and after I did that... Then what happened? I didn't see anything. It looked like the others didn't come out of their rooms either, so... I felt pretty dumb for being the only one who came out, so I went back to my room and fell back asleep. What's that mean? 
In the end, I never found out what that sound was, but it's been on my mind for a while. You know, now that you mention it, it does seem strange. Just what was that sound? <sighs> you don't know either, huh? Well, that's why I brought it up. See if you did. Well, I should tell you in more detail. But you don't... Oh. When I ran out of my room, I happened to glance at the lounge clock. It said it was around 5.30 a.m. Will you be able to find out anything with that info? And Akane just hands us the whole case. Or at least in terms of figuring out what happened. Now, who did it, how it happened, and why? Well, that part's going to be the hard part. Well, I mean, there's a lot of signs pointing to who did it. I didn't think that rumbling noise happened that early in the morning. You hear that? I didn't think it happened that early in the morning. But I'm not really sure if that noise pertains to the incident or not. Whoo, Shikane's account! Hmm, I better add it to my truth bullets. Why? What the hell? I went to the trouble of remembering that? And you got nothing? Listen to BSG, they say they've already figured it out thanks to me! You can hear them too? Jeez, you're so damn useless. Yeah, they're really annoying. She seems agitated. Well, it's understandable. She's way less agitated than expected. But I think that's just because she's she's determined and she does have that on-off switch. <laughs> just like Nekomaru or Mekamaru has the on-off switch. It's like whatever Akane is doing, that's what she's doing. There's nothing in between. Right, right. And so if she was going to be moping, then she was going to be moping, but she decided to do this, so that's what she's that's doing. That's what she's doing. Okay, I think we're good for now. <sighs> I feel like we haven't given Nekomaru enough of a send-off, but... Well, if this is a suicide for everyone's benefit, then domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Huh. <laughs>